It's a collaboration by, of two choirs, one from Kent, the other from Kiev. They're celebrating the new bonds of friendship between the UK and Ukraine and the shared language of music. Piers Hopkirk has been finding out more. It's an example of the power of music to bring people together. While singers from schools across West Kent were put through their paces here, hundreds of miles away in Kyiv, singers gathered between the air raid sirens for their part in a recording project that unites both countries in song. You don't have to speak Ukrainian, you don't have to speak English, music pulls you together. It's putting into perspective the fact that we're all here in this lovely building and we've been rehearsing in primary schools all over the world. The choir in Ukraine are rehearsing when they can between sirens, between explosions, between losing their power uh, in bunkers in car parks. Um, but they're still able to send back something really positive and something that they are proud of and we're proud of to be working with them on. It's called the Carol of the Bells, a Christmas tune that many will recognise from festive adverts to films like Home Alone. Fewer, though, will know that it's a traditional Ukrainian song called Shedrick. <laughs> Anna Zhobnichik helped inspire the project. Her hometown Vasilvka is under Russian occupation. She and her son Dima came to Kent in May. This song is very important for us because this song is about hope, hope um, for better times, for rebuild our country and for better future for all the Ukrainians. I'm very proud um, of, uh, of singing with my English friends. It will send a good message to um, send to the warriors that are trying to defend Ukraine and um, uh, push them on and help them. How proud are you to be involved? Um, on a scale of one to ten, probably about a ten. The aim is to blend the choirs to create a single track that will then go on sale to raise money for reconstruction projects in Ukraine. So, a trans-European expression of solidarity through song. All in time, they hope, for the Christmas charts. Piers Hopkirk, BBC News.